To get more on the yuan's move and China's policy outlook, let's join Ting Lu, chief China economist at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. She joins us from Hong Kong. Ting Lu, good to have you with us. Now, the revaluation of the yuan has taken effect. We saw the currency gain four tenths of one percent. That's pretty significant. Uh, yes, uh, this actually is not a surprise um, because it shows the Chinese government is very serious about the end of the pact and also want to make an announcement credible and we expect the appreciation of yuan will continue for a couple of days then may, perhaps we will see depreciation and so we will do um, expect to uh, see more volatility in the yuan and the MB's valuation. Is the move enough for China to put a lid on inflation and rebalance the Chinese economy? Well, actually, the impact on China's inflation is very small. Uh, the first reason is that 85% uh, of China's demand is domestic demand, so only 15% is imported from um, outside China. Second, uh, even China appreciates them, maybe as you can see, commodity price also rise, so which will actually offset some of the impact. So that's why, um, as a big economy, appreciation of them has very small impact on China's inflation. How about in terms of uh, U.S. importers' earnings? Do you expect that to be affected? I mean, U.S. consumers won't accept price increases. Chinese exporters have small margins. So it does look like U.S. companies may just have to grin and bear it. Uh, that's right. So in this regard, it's true that uh, China will rebalance the economy by appreciating its uh, uh, currency against the basket. And we do uh, expect that uh, U.S. consumers will see a continued rise of um, products importing from China, although we don't expect uh, the appreciation pace will be quite big. Uh, in the past couple of years, before 2009, uh, the pace uh, of the price increase for imports from China has been about 4 percent, and we expect uh, in coming years it will still be around 45 percent. You were talking earlier about yuan movement in the next few days. How about in the longer term? I mean, what kind of yuan movements will China likely tolerate? I mean, Bank of America, where you are, it's still maintaining its 2010 forecast at 680 to the dollar, yeah? Uh, that's right. We expect uh, no big movement um, in the medium term, although in the sh a very short term, perhaps we will see uh, some appreciation and then perhaps we will see some depreciation of them maybe against the dollar. And uh, so in the near term, we don't expect a big movement, uh, especially in the three months. Uh, but we do expect uh, within one year, we see a relatively big movement. We expect uh, towards the middle of the, uh, next year, we expect 6.5. How about the impact in interest rates? Seems quite clear now that there'll be no aggressive rate hikes, unlike what was expected by the market earlier. Yeah, I believe that uh, the decision on interest rates and uh, uh, interest uh, exchange rates could be quite separate. Uh, we expect uh, the maybe to, um, uh, well, we expect in uh, interest rates to be hiked in the end of the year uh, with a symmetric rate hike, which means uh, deposit rates will be hiked uh, about 27 basis points while lending rates up uh, 18 basis points. And this decision will be quite um, different from exchange rates. Mm. Ting Lu, Chief China Economist at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Thank you.